Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It's on my mind, and I'm just going to a little of it. said, sometimes it's courage, but not defeated. Cast down, but not destroy there are times I don't understand but I believe it's turning around for me I had struggled and disappointment the times I felt all alone some of my friends they they let me down but I still believe he's turning around for me somebody just help me and say around around for me around for me come on somebody around for me it's turning around for me can we say it one more time and believe it around for me god want to turn it around hallelujah around for me around for me it's turning around for me the preacher preached today amen a beautiful word that said in the script but then he said something at the latter end that there are some things amen that should be in the script that doesn't have to be in it Hallelujah, glory be to God. Sickness doesn't have to be in your script. Glory be to God. I thank God that we serve a God that heals, delivers, and set free. I thank God that I serve a God that said he will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. And I know he's going to turn it around for me. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you. We'll come to the end of testimony. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I, too, have a testimony that God is truly amazing. He is always watching over me. He's always opening doors. When Sometimes when a door is closed, you have a window that's open. And sometimes if the door and the window is, is, is closed, you know how back in the days they raised a roof, they took off the roof. God is going to open up somewhere. When the enemy tries to block up every clock, just, God just opened somewhere. And I'm truly grateful that he is always looking out for me, opening doors and making ways. And I'm truly, truly, truly grateful 
grateful for his mercies. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Praise you, God. Lord, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to thank God for bringing me into his house one more time because there is absolutely nothing holy about me that he would decide to save me or let me breathe his air. But I just want to thank God for another opportunity to be alive. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord as you see it's, it's youth and young adult night. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for the youth and the young adult. Thank you, Jesus. And if you're young at heart, you are a youth and a young adult. Praise the Lord Jesus. There's no better place to have a youth and young adult inside the house of God. Praise the Lord. I see a lot of them out there. I have some friends and they're always talking about, oh, I go to the party on the weekend. Carrie, you need to come. I said, no, my party's at church. You need to come. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm, there's sometimes I say, Sister Carrie's thirsty Thursday. I'm like, what is that? I don't know what a thirsty Thursday is. It's like, oh, we go drink. I'm like, well, I'm going to go home and drink some juice. I'm good. Thank you, Jesus. But youth, now is a time to serve the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I sometimes watch, you know, how some um, people get older and they're not able to actually serve the Lord like how they used to when they are youth and young adult like me. You know, praise the Lord, Jesus. So I'm truly grateful that I'm in my right mind. That we are here. That we have all the young people in the house of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. And we ought to live a light so others can see it. Like Brother Byron would say, they don't read the Bible anymore. They look at your life to see how you live. They look at how you walk. They look at how you talk. They look at how you conduct yourself. Even the very way you comb your hair. Can you believe that? And truly we have to make our light shine that others can see. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. At this time, we would like to greet our Commander-in-Chief, Bishop Dr. Lloyd E. Russell. He's a man and over-shepherd of this house, and we're truly grateful for his leadership. He, too, is even young. He's so young. He does not He does not change. Praise the Lord Jesus. He, has, he's, he can just outrun us. Sometimes I wonder what is it that he does. I, I, I live with him, but I cannot figure it out. Praise the Lord Jesus. And greetings to our assistant pastor, Elder Lisa Russell. Praise the Lord Jesus. She too is an emblem and a, you know, a role model for us. Thank you, Jesus. And greetings to our youth president. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. We thank God for him. He is so zealous for the Lord. Sometimes I watch him and he just, I think he just takes something from pastor. I'm not sure, you know, because sometimes you just watch him and you just see pastor on him. You ever see it? I don't know if you see it, but I see it. Praise the Lord. And we are grateful for Missionary Coosley, our Vice President, and all the other youth that works with her. We are grateful. We are truly blessed with one of the finest set of leaders. Praise the Lord. I will not switch them for anybody else. I've seen others. I went to some church and I see how the youth leader dye her hair red. I don't know, but I'm not going to dye my hair. You know, I wouldn't want under those leadership and someone that pierced their ears with five ears. They're leading young people. Praise the Lord. Some of them have a boyfriend on the side and they're leading young people. But our young people, our leaders are truly true role models. Not that I'm putting them on a pedestal, but give credit and honor where it is due. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, we'll be collecting our offering. Thank you, Jesus. Those in charge, please come. Everyone, please stand. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Let's try again. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a mighty, 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 mighty good God. All right. The Bible says. We have to do some things and we're going to be obedient tonight. We should lay aside every weight. I'm sure you don't want to go beyond that. That so easily beset you. And see, we don't want you to be struggling tonight. Amen. So now it's time to lay that weight aside amen and i know that you're happy to do that to lay aside the weight amen amen tell somebody god is really really good to me <laughs> you know i'm convinced that some of us don't hear what i just said 
tell somebody God is really really good to me <laughs> Lord Jesus of mercy let me ask some of your question when you refuse to open your mouth and speak positive stuff like that who do you think you're hurting because by opening your mouth you're honoring God for who he is and for what he's done and if we be men want people to tighten talk nice things about us so our heads can swell and we're human beings after all that God has done why shouldn't we talk big about him amen amen God wants you to talk nice things about him amen all right and one of the ways that we're going to be talking tonight amen is in our giving amen thank you jesus and for you that left the checkbook at home the machine is right around there all right just stop by put any number at the front and as many zeros behind it and the lord will bless you amen 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 lord jesus i'm trying to see i can get some of us going but some of us are literally scared when you come to giving money in church one last thing one last thing and i'm serious now ask the person beside you can god trust you can god trust you to be, to be honest ask them again can God trust you to be, to be honest in other words God know what we can do so will you be brave enough to come before God and do something that's dishonest mm. guess what it's now up to us because I'm not going to put a figure to it. I'm going to leave it to you. You're going to prove to God tonight how truthful you are and how a liar we can be in his presence. Lord, I bless you. I know some of you are nervous. <laughs> oh, God. Father, we bless your name. We honor your name for your being God. You're the one that blesses. God before you tonight are your children. You know because you gave it to us what we are able and we are capable of giving tonight in our offering. Help us God to be honest before you. To do what's right so you can continue to bless us as we go from day to day Lord for those of us that will give an honest gift tonight we ask you for your blessing Lord for those of us that are brave enough to come before you with this honest offering God help us help us but we ask it tonight that none of us will come before you with gifts that will be rejected but gifts that will be received have your way now we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Overcomers.
Body. Amen. As you know, we are going down to where on this Friday? Yes, I the seat I think I all the seats are filled. generation the most hungry for you that our songs will bring a light of rain we won't be satisfied until your glory falls down we press into a place of your glorious grace let us wake a bout of sleep and arise to a place of authority in the earth. The whole earth waits for the manifest things of sons. Let us be the ones. Let us be the ones. More of you, Lord. Show us how to love and be more like you, oh Lord. Our maker and king, more and more, more and more, more and more of you. Let us be a generation, the most hungry. Thank you, Jesus.
There's a testimony. I said, there's a testimony. I don't believe that our celebration is empty. There's a story. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You see, if you show up at a place and don't know why you're there, you might get yourself in trouble. But when there's a reason for being there, hallelujah, hallelujah. you're going to make it count. We are celebrating tonight what God has done for us. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Let me greet us with all of us in this house tonight. Amen. To Sister Pastor Elizabeth Russell. Amen. To Amen. And Minister Hall. Amen. Our youth president. Amen. Missioner Shante Kuzli. Amen. Our youth president and vice president. Other committee members and all our young people and young adults. Youth and young adults. I'm right in the middle of it. I'm between youth and young adults. <laughs> yeah, look at me. Amen. That's right. I'm right in the middle. They haven't given my section a name yet. Ah, God, I bless you. Amen. You find me somewhere between the youth. No, 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 darling. <laughs> Middle who? Middle age don't like me. Thank you, Jesus. So look again. Amen. Amen. My word is not yet invented. Amen. But I'm going to celebrate in the meantime. <laughs> God is a good God. Amen. Amen. And we praise his name. We honor him and we lift him up. Who know that God is good? Amen. He is an awesome God. He is an awesome God. He is an awesome God. Amen. Amen. I feel something pushing me somewhere. Amen. God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. 
Glory, 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 glory. Yeah. You, you can know me as much as you want. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrating. That's right. We celebrating. Amen. Amen. I didn't pass you. I stopped at you. Amen. God is a mighty, 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 mighty good God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't know if she's youth or young adult. But she's somewhere on the scale. Thank you, Jesus. So find it somewhere, sister. Find it somewhere. Find it somewhere. Amen. You can ever say something. Find it somewhere. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. God is a good God. And that's why we love him today. And that's why we serve him. That's why we give him praise. I'm still excited about what God is doing. I'm still excited about what the Lord said in this house today. Amen. Through his man servant minister hall amen it's in the script but don't let your guilt hang you glory lord jesus the preacher said that you don't have to die that's not in the script amen you, there's some things you can't shake hallelujah God gave him the word today hallelujah and instead of asking for forgiveness we allow the guilt to kill us hallelujah look at this Judah sat at the table where forgiveness was He didn't have to go far. Because Judas said, one that dip in the dish, he's going to sell me, he's going to betray me. But Judas knew the story. That if a man wants to forgive you, he'll invite you to dip in the dish with him. So he knew right then and there. What was in the script had to be carried out. But he could have gotten forgiveness. He didn't have to die. Tell somebody, you don't have to die. You don't have to die. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. And like a lot of us, we procrastinate. And think we don't have to do it that way. But some we feel comfortable in ourselves. Well, let me go to talk to somebody. But the preacher said, when Judas meant I made a stop, he stopped at the wrong spot. Wrong place because who he talked to could not help him. Hallelujah. But while you can get forgiveness, seek it. Grab hold to it. Because you will live. Lord, man. You stirred me up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And then another word began to talk to me as I sat there. And I, I'm not going to tell I'm going to wrote it down. Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, let me give it to you. Let me give it to you. Every one of us. Every one of us. We are assigned something. God help. So the question is. What? is your assignment glory what were you chosen for Judas was selected to do what he did but God had a way out for him hallelujah hallelujah Mr. Hall let me see again God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't let the preacher say today, don't let your guilt kill you. Don't let it hang you. Oh God. Don't let shame cause you not to. Don't let pride cause you not to move. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, if you don't fix it, you're going to reflect 
Hallelujah. Can you imagine when the I'm just talking to get her get her together. Can you imagine when, when, when Judas went to these men? And in my own words, you're on your own. <laughs> Don't bring us into this. <laughs> no, that's your decision. Can you think? Can't you think for a moment? When you run to a spot for help and they lock you down? Oh, this is heavy stuff. This is heavy stuff. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm not trying to preach a preacher preach this moment. I'm just stirred up. Because he blessed them as the Lord used them. At this time. Thank you, Jesus. She's coming. As we stand to our feet and I invite to this pulpit to tell us what the Lord told her. Sister Claire Rogers, in Jesus' name. Lord, we bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Gotta be used, gotta be used by you. I wanna be used, gotta be used by you. I give completely to you, Lord. Do what you want to do. I give completely to you. Lord, do what you want to do. See, I wanna be. I wanna be. I gotta be. Gotta be. I wanna be. Wanna be. Gotta be used. Wanna be used. Gotta be used. I wanna be used by you. Oh, I wanna be used. I gotta be used. I wanna be used by you. Oh, I give completely to you, Lord. Do what you want to do. I give completely to you, Lord. Do what you want to do. Say, I wanna be. Wanna be. Can 
who can forgive sin but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reason within themselves, he said unto them, Why reason ye these things in your heart? Whether it be easier to say to the sake of the palsy, Thy sin be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and take up thy bed and walk. Thank you, Jesus. Today, the preacher preached that you don't have to die. So, because I'm looking at this scripture, now, this man was sick. He was born this way. Seeing that everyone knew who Jesus was, knowing that he's a healer, his friends believe if we take him to Jesus, he will be healed. But what got me about this story is that they took him to Jesus and before Jesus can even say, get up and walk, he recognized that the man had a greater problem than just being paralyzed. Because that is what palsy means, paralyzed. And when I look at us today, sometimes we may not be physically Paralyzed. But tell me, what is your hesitation today? What is keeping you today from moving? You know, I look at, at when Jesus said, Thy sins is forgiven. And when I think of the people that was actually questioning God, how dare you to tell this man thy sins are, is forgiven? Who are you? But they well knew who Jesus was. They were playing the fool. They were pretending they don't know who was speaking. Because remember, these are the, was not ordinary people. These were priests. They knew who Jesus was. They knew what he can do. But yet, they questioned how who, how dare you say this man's sin is forgiven. You know, I look at the story and my mind goes to sometimes even Jesus said, Thy sins is forgiven. Take up thy bed and walk. I look at us, I listen to the preacher today, and sometimes, even though, like he said, Judas was forgiven, but Judas went and hung himself. And that is us also. I, my mind goes to Peter. Because when Peter denied Jesus, Peter was very sorrowful. He was very low. I mean, he got so low that Peter withdrew himself from the rest of the disciples. But then my mind goes to when Jesus rose. And when he rose, he said, go and tell Peter too. And remember, only until when Jesus said, go and tell Peter. Peter too. Peter got up and shake himself off. My mind also go to David. Remember David, the word said David is a man after God's own heart. We all know the greatness of David. But David messed up when he messed up with Bathsheba. But after David messed up with Bathsheba, even though David realized his mistake and he repented. Remember David did not jump for joy even though he repented he kind of withdrew because what david had that little child here every day to remind him of his mistake every day to remind him of Bathsheba. but remember again god is so good that all when he want to forgive us sometimes like the preacher said things come to our mind things are there to remind us of our fault but after now god the baby died david got up and shake himself off because what that sin that was forgiven already all of a sudden it was totally moved out of David way David didn't had no reminder of that anymore so sometimes we are going through situation and we make our mistakes you know God give us position and because we may falter we slip and we withdrew from our position but I'm gonna in ask somebody today Ask yourself, what is your hindrance? What is your palsy? What is keeping you from doing what God put you to do? Ask 
yourself that question and when you figure out what is your posse, the altar is here. Come and shake yourself off and get back in line. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Search ourselves and see what, what is our policy. What